Here it goes. Take a look at Edison's. How much does it worth? Uh, it's all together. This is one. Like, 100,000 Taiwanese dollars. 15,000 US dollars. 15,000 US dollars. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, if I'm a thief, I would go for this bag <laughs> and I'll take it. And, uh, that, that, I'll and be set for the next. Also this laptop. And then the laptop. Yeah. And then I'll be set for the rest of the year with that, that bag and I'll just sell it, sell it on the black market. This is what it looks like right now. So like three YouTubers. Like you guys are the only YouTubers I know in real life. Oh, yeah. so touching. Yeah, I don't do much of that, but they are like much more serious than I am. If you realize the sound quality and the, the, the image quality is much better now, that is because I'm using one of their cameras and I don't have proper camera with me. And look at this girl. Look at you! You're like a vanilla ice cream in a cone. Aren't you the prettiest Maltese ever? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Say hi. You're so pretty. Pretty and you know it. I know you do. That's because I am using their camera. And just get ready for a downgrade right after I leave Taipei. So right now we're just working. And I was checking out Edison's filming gear. We're going to finish our work and I'm gonna go for a burger. Really exciting. Alright guys, we are at Taipei 101 and it's not focusing on me. What the hell is going on? Um, we're at Taipei 101. I look a little bit more. It's just not focusing. We're trying to find Mos Burger to try out the Beyond Meat. It's here, it's here, it's here. All right, let's see. Because we're going to do the burger taste test, but I don't think that's going to be enough for both of us. He's like not, not waiting for anyone. So I'm going to go to look for some more food because I don't think two burgers. <laughs> Oh, I like pho as well. I don't know, I don't even know how to explain to you. So this thing is red bean soup base and then you add glutinous rice balls with no fillings inside. And then we're also adding... Um, oh, they call it rice pasta. That's a good description actually. So we got our dessert and then we've got two burgers. I hope that's enough until maybe we could wait until we get to another place and, and then get more food. Oh, that looks nice. <笑>我覺得那旁邊那醬的味道還蠻重的然後有點有點蓋過我本來想要去它有那個有一根的味道我剛才吃到一個有點像那種豬肉它會有一些油脂啊或者是金的那種彈牙的感覺加一些拍的
素食肉吃起来都这样，我会我没有问题。素的比较好吃还是？因为素，我觉得一样，口感一模一样。可是我是觉得，如果我要吃素啊。它就是素食就好，我不想要它还要做成像肉的样子，然后好像你还摆脱不了吃肉的习惯。我只是觉得说素食，看你的目的是什么。因为吃素它是可能对环境更好，但是有的人就很爱吃肉。那如果有这个的话，它就可以满足它两个。对啊。好，慢慢慢慢有觉得这比较像素肉啊。有，就我直接这样比较了之后，就这样比较你就知道了。那个 texture 比较松，啊，对啊，对啊，对啊，就我能吃得出来一点点那个香菇的感觉。好，没有，我觉得它应该以后会越来越做的越来越像。对啊，还差一两个步骤。还是有，还是有差。The real meat, and then you move on to the fake meat. 我觉得直接吃会差别会蛮大，直接吃差别超大的。如果你一直单吃会还好。This is also really good. Okay, guys, conclusion. If you only eat Beyond Meat burger, then it will taste quite proper. It doesn't taste half bad. It doesn't taste half bad at all. They did a good job of adding the smoky taste with meat, especially in burger. You want that barbecue taste. They added it to make it taste smoky, and that really helped. And the texture-wise, I think if because it's in a burger, so it's gonna taste a little bit better if it's in a burger. I don't know what's gonna be like if you take the patty out of the burger. It might taste a bit obvious. And we had the real beef burger, and then we move on to the Beyond Meat burger, and then that makes a big difference. The Beyond Meat burger just tastes so unreal. Kind of just really, you could tell the difference. The tip is just to stick to one kind of meat, just beyond me. You won't tell the difference. It's a great thing, and I, I, I'm sure it's going to be more and more afford, affordable. It will taste more and more realistic. That's going to be amazing for the planet. And I think we're quite done with lunch. We have dessert here, really tasty. I think I dipped my finger in it. That's kind of gross. And we're going to move on to another place in a bit. That's that for now. A few inches later. Very exciting. This one is like a mega size. This is a shopping mall. 我要去四楼 ，but like slash bookstore. And then do I am I just the most awkward person? This bookstore opens 24/7. How amazing is that? And they sell from books to bags to jewelry to food. Amazing. And I don't think you can find anything like this anywhere else. So excited. I've been to many sleep bookstore before, but this is the biggest one I've ever been. So, so it's under your rent. 就是半夜来过吗？这还蛮久，半夜。收到。就比较没人吧。Right, they're gonna go to the Louvre, and I'm gonna go look for the jewelry place that I want to check out. You are you just not focusing on me today, aren't you? Oh, and would you look at that? Oh, by the way, I did my nails. I got my manicure done. Look how fancy that is. Um, but back to the bookstore. Look at this. Would you look at this, guys? This. These are the colorful ink. Where you can take your glass bottle and then come here and get your ink in a bottle. That is so environmentally friendly and amazing. I just and then you get this. I want almost everything, and this is like my favorite section where they design different color, give them a very cute Taiwanese name. For example, this would be. It's named after a kind of Taiwanese fruit. It's like a pomelo family fruit. It does remind me of the fruit, and it's just—it's bizarre how amazing that is. And this is named after a vegetable, a special Taiwanese vegetable. It's like baby bamboo shoots, and it does remind me of that. And this is named after Taiwanese pineapple. And I personally think it would be a little bit darker than this, but still, beautiful name. And look at them—it comes into like these small, tiny, beautiful bottles. And that's 
just amazing. Can I just want to get everything here? Can everyone should come here? Oh, look at this. Excuse me. Can I have all of these wrapped in a paper bag? Thank you very much. Yeah, look at this. This is like my favorite part. 我觉得他今天就没有怎么在 focus 在我的脸上。你看现在，他现在是他 focus 是你的脸上，是谁花钱买就认识谁，这样就就会 focus 在那个金主身上。今天现在几点？九点，九点还在，九点还在成品逛，好开心哦。Alright, guys, morning, morning, morning. At the last day of our Taipei trip, you are tilted. So we're at the last day of our Taipei trip. So the plan of today is to spend some time with them a bit more, and around 1 p.m. they're gonna have to go to work, and I will leave Taipei with them, coach or train. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I, I wasn't listening to anything, so I don't know why I was wearing that. We had such a great day yesterday. What did we do? We didn't leave the house until like. Late. We went to Taipei 101 and we went to one of the Moss Burger. We went to Shima with Nina and Edison, and I got my nails done. Look at them, look at them. If you know me, I never have my nails done. Rarely, I do it once in like twice per year. I do rock climbings and I play the piano, so I always have my nails trimmed to the very, very short. It was really affordable. I did. This cost was three hundred and twenty Taiwanese dollars, so that would only eight pounds. Look at them! They are the half French manicure. All right, there. What you doing? Did you hide away? Edison's dog is acting up a little bit. Mimi got four little rings here. The camera would be so kind to focus on it. There you are. This purple gem gold band. Love it. This is my favorite. This is one of the most expensive ones. There is another one. There you, go. there you go. Very simple. So this is the other two. You can see a pattern here, really. I like tiny rings with gems on top of it, um, and then just a very simple gold band. I'm extremely happy with them. They are affordable, very reasonably priced, and I'm actually still using their camera. I'm gonna transfer the footage to my laptop and take it home. I'm gonna miss this camera because I have to go back to my iPhone. Thank you, Ed and Nina, for for such a wonderful time. I had a really good time here. Always happy to come back to Taipei. Taipei is just so beautiful. Always have a special place in my mind. Talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a good time as well.